in this video we'll continue with our local preference lab where what we have left in our previous video let me just quickly revise what we did now in our previous video we have seen that all the routers inside the AS600 by default they are preferring this route not this one so probably this one uh, this route to reach 40 dot network this is the preferred path and the reason it is preferred path because it is having only one AS hop just 700 and I so this it's it's receiving the route with 700 and I but whereas it is having two AS hops 700 uh, 500 and I so this is the default best path or default preferred exit path in AS 600 is this is the default exit path because of less AS hops now what we did we went to router 2 and we changed the local preference of the router 2 to 400 and the default exit path which uh, which is router 3 is having the default local preference of 100 now when we apply the local preference of 400 on router 3 router 2 router 2 is going to revise that information to all the routers inside the same AS in our case it is only router 3 and then router 3 and once we once the uh, once we apply that local preference router 2 is advertising to router 3 and all the routers inside the AS by default they prefer via this path this is the path which prefers so that's what we did if we if we verify the configurations here like we went to router 2 and then we verify the configurations on the router 2 we have applied this command BGP default local preference value of 400 and once we did that automatically to reach any network it's by default preferring this route that is via for via router 2 will be the exit path even if I verify on the router 3 router 3 also uses the default exit path will be via 2.2.2.1 because of the local preference but the one thing we in our previous lab we did is we did not match any networks so which means when you say 400 on router 2 it is automatically going to apply for all the routes whatever received whatever is coming from this router 2 and then router 2 is going to realize all the networks for all the networks it's going to apply the local preference value of 400 and it's going to advertise to all the routers within the same AS now you may come across a scenario where you want to apply local preference to only selected routes let's say now in my example now in this example what we are going to do is we are going to remove that uh, local preference whatever we have applied the first thing I'm going to say router BGP 600 and if you remember what we applied Shoran section BGP so I'm going to remove my uh, the command what I did in our previous lab and I'll clear the BGP process now if I verify I just want to ensure that all the routes should go via the default route which is which it is using now the default route is via router 3 similar way if I go and check on the router 3 I should not this see this 400 after this you can see here when I go and check now there is no local preference value now router 2 is advertising with the default local preference value and the default exit path to reach 40 dot network or any of the network is via 3.3.3.2 which is direct via router 4 even router 2 also uses this route to reach that 40 dot network or any network in AS 700 now in this lab what we are going to do is we are we are going to use local preference but we are going to apply only for specific routes so which means I'm going to take some extra interfaces here you can see on the router 4 I'm going to use four loopbacks now in that four loopbacks I want to ensure that to reach some of the loopbacks or you can say I got four different destinations and to reach some destinations like to reach the first two destinations I want my router to prefer this route the first two loopbacks should go via this route in my example I'll be using 14.0.0.0 uh, 14.0.1.0 they should go via they should exit via router 2 and all the remaining routes all the remaining in the sense in my in my example all the remaining which means it includes the remaining two loopbacks it also includes my 40 dot network it also includes whatever the networks belonging to AS700 
So here we are just considering AS700 as our destination network and AS600 as a source. So you can also take a 10 dot network or any other network. So only the difference is the best path will change but the overall concept remains the same. So all the remaining should use the default path which is via router 2. Now if you want to make this possible the first step we need to do is we need to match those two networks whatever the two networks we need to match 14.0.0.0 and I'm going to say 14.0.1.0 with some ACL or you can use IP prefix list and then I have to define that inside a route map and inside that route map I have to call that I have to define that ACL and then I'm going to say set local preference and the local preference value will be 400, 500 whatever the number you want to use now when I define this inside the route map now this local preference will be applied only for the networks whatever I have defined inside my ACL okay and then for all the remaining networks dot map some name I'll simply set the default values and then I'm going to apply on the router 2 towards router 1 okay and on the in direction so because I want to ensure that router 2 should uh, apply means the changes should apply to the router 2 that's the reason we apply in direction so the same way what we did in our weight attribute so let me just quickly do that so before I, I do let me just explain you the same thing here now the first thing we need to do is we need to advertise the networks anyway router 4 is having the loopback but I did not advertise them in my BGP so the first step will be we need to have some couple of networks for testing purpose so for testing I'm going to use router 4 loopback interfaces and I'm advertising them in network 14.0.0.0 with a slash 24 subnet mask and then also advertising my 14.0.1.0 and 2.0 3.0 so if you want you can add some extra loopbacks also so once we advertise them you can see inside my BGP I can see those 14 dot networks will be advertised and the next stop is 000 means tightly connected and if I go to my router 3 in my BGP table I should see them coming into my BGP table on router 3 you can see now it's coming and by default it's preferring via the root via 3332 that is router 4 because of less AS hops even if you want you can try trace 14.001 or if you try to trace through any other networks so any routes on the router 4 by default it exits via router 3 that is the router 3 is your default exit path and same way if I check on the router 2 also it's the same case by default prefers via router 3 that is exits via router 3 because of less AS hops now I want to ensure that router 2 should use means the AS600 should exit via router 2 only for these two networks okay and for all the remaining networks it should use the default route so which means the first thing you have to decide which router you want to exit that's the first step now I want to prefer exit router 2 should be my exit router so we are going to apply the local preference on the router 2 so let us apply the local preference value on the router 2 but before that I need to match those networks access list 14 match those two networks so in my example I'm going to use the first two lowbacks which are 14.0.0.0 and 14.0.1.0 I'm going to match these two lowbacks and then I'm going to create a route map some name CCI permit 10 match IP address I'm going to match IP address 14 which means it is going to match these two networks and then I'm going to say set local preference any number you can apply so I'm going to apply just 400 or any number you can use then all the remaining so again you have to define a route map with a blank route map statement which is going to ensure that all the remaining values should get the default parameters so finally the next thing we need to apply it towards the neighbor where you want to apply so now when you apply on the router 2 pointing towards this neighbor that's what we are doing because we are going to receive the routes from this neighbor 
So I'm going to apply it towards the neighbor router 1, which is neighbor 1.1.1.1, which is my router 1. And then I'm going to say route map. And the name of the route map will be CCI. Now we need to define the direction. Now in our example, we want to ensure that router 2 should apply the local preference value, which means uh, our router 2 itself. I want my router 2 to change the local preference value when it advertises to router 3. So it's going to impact the local router. So whenever you want to apply any values which should impact the local router, then we always use in direction. So in, and then finally applying clear IP BGP verification. Now once, by the time the routes get converged, we'll quickly uh, try to understand what happens after the converge conversion. So once the routes get converged, the first thing what we'll see is we'll see router 2 and router 3 to reach this 14 dot network. They go via la via this path because we have applied only those two networks the local preference value and for all the remaining loopbacks which means remaining means it will be 14.0.2 and 3 and also 40 dot network they go via this route which means local preference value will not be applied to the remaining networks and they use the default route so that is something what we expect show IP BGP you can use or you can simply say show IP BGP 14.000 the first loop back I can see the local preference value of 400 is applied for this network or you can verify the routing table as well and if I verify for 14.0.1 network you can see the local preference value is applied for the second network also because that we define in my ACL if I verify for 3. network you can see the local preference value is not applied and it is just using the default local preference value because when we created a route map we match ACL 14 and that ACL 14 is going to represent only those two networks which means the weight uh, the local preference value will be applied only for those two networks and if I verify the routing table you can see by default to reach 14.0.0.0.1.0 they go via router 1 but if you see the remaining loopbacks they still go via the default route which is via exit via router 3 and similar way if I check any other router inside the same AS because when you apply the local preference value it is going to apply for it is going to advertise for all the networks within the same autonomous systems like you can see router 3 is receiving the route from 2222 2221 which is router 2 with a local preference value of 400 whatever we applied it's going to get advertised to all the routers inside the AS but from 3332 we are receiving the route from with a local preference value of 400 not of these two it is going to decide which is the best route it says it this is one is the best route because of higher local preference now the same thing applies for 14.0.1 network also local preference of 400 from router 2 default local preference from route of 4 and this will be considered as a best route and if I check for the third loopback or the remaining loopbacks you can see it's getting the route from one side with a local preference of 100 and if I verify the routing table you can see the these two loopbacks are going via 2221 that is via route of 2 but whereas the remaining loopbacks or the 40 door network is going via the default exit path now this way we can use local preference for more specific routes especially it is more commonly useful uh, when when you want when you have multiple destinations and you want to ensure that to some specific destinations you want to use the primary route and for the remaining destinations you can you want to use the default route so in this way we can ensure that we are going to use both the routes uh, to exit the autonomous system network 